welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a analog video camera without any tapes. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is a converter. Now this is the Ion Video to SD. If you've seen my other video about how to transfer tapes to your laptop, that is the Ion Video to PC. So what's cool about this box is it will, you can put a micro SD card in it and then you plug your camera into it and then there's a little button on here right where my pinky's at, a little round button there. And uh, you can push record on it and it will start recording whatever the camera sees. So that is why this will work for what we're doing today. And then this is the cable that it comes with. So it actually has kind of like a, it's hard to see, but it's like a headphone jack style that will plug into your camera. And then this side is component cables. So that is what it comes with because the Ion2 SD box um, does not have S video, it only has component. So that is the only thing you'll be able to use. And it comes with a power supply or um, a power cable. I duct taped or I electrical taped it just to keep it simple, um, to keep it more compact and not so stringy and hanging out all over the place. And you're gonna need a battery bank or a uh, portable charger. This is to power the video to SD converter box. It has to have some form of power. It's supposed to go into a wall, but the, I think this is a five amp and I think the power to power the ion uh, takes five amp so these will work to power it and I'll be showing you on this camera just because I was gonna use my the Canon GL1 doesn't have these component plugins it has this component plugin and I believe there's something wrong with it it's broken or something because trying to watch the footage on my laptop, um, the audio and the video was just all sorts of scrambled. I'll show you. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> so that's pretty messed up. So I will show you on this because this actually works. So you don't exactly have to use this. You can use a component cable that has two ends of these as well as I have here. So you got the three here and you got three there. And I also duct tape this as well. And another thing that you might want to use is some sticky sided uh, Velcro like I have here on the bottom. The plug-in on this camera is right here on the side, which actually helps quite a bit. So I'm going to take this and attach it so that these are on the same side. Now this Velcro isn't the stickiest Velcro, so it kind of falls off the, the, the tape side of it. So now you'll have it like so. And you can take your cables and you can plug them in to your component plugins. Okay, so I have the three plugged in on the converter box just to Kind of minimize the you know the dangliness on it so that's that it's still kind of sticking out <laughs> on the side it's this isn't the the prettiest way to go about this but um whatever camera you're using you know you can try and tidy it up a little bit better than what i have done here this is just for an a, a example for the for the video so then you have that plugged in so now you need power i am going to well, on the Ion2 SD, you have on the opposite side of it, so you have that side's the, the video audio cables, and then this side is your, uh, you got like an HDMI and your power source right here in the middle. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna have the USB plug-in go on the opposite side, like that, so that way, it can loop around over to here, the power supply. So you can plug that in there. Then you take this and loop it around to, oh my bad, the uh, AV out is in the middle. I thought that was the power supply. Power supply is on the left side. You can see that the battery is going 
and when it turns on there will be a little green light on the uh, SD or the, the video to SD. So now it's ready to go and you don't even have to have a tape in the, um, the tape deck. So you can totally take it out and uh, make sure you got a battery for your, your video camera. That was weird. Okay. No tape in it now. And so now you can turn it on and turn up the camera mode. And instead of hitting record on your camera, you will hit record on your uh, recorder box, which is this right here. And when you push this, the little green light here should turn red and it'll blink as if it's recording. So my way it's kind of hard to tell if it's actually recording or not. So you gotta kind of look at it and make sure that it's recording. So that is this makeshift setup. Um, I tried to make the Velcro and everything kind of off to, you know, off to this side. So that way you can actually get like your hand through the hand strap here and actually be able to record. So that is a easy and cheap way to record straight to a SD card. Yeah, if you're a, if you're a skateboarder out there, this is a good way to get your, uh, your footage a lot easier as well. And it makes it so it's one less step to, to process. You know, you just push record on the box and it'll record straight to an SD card and you don't even have to go through the process of transferring it to the SD card or transferring it straight to your computer. You can just go straight to an SD card. Then when you're ready to, to edit, you just pull the SD card out, put it in your laptop, and it's just like a, a regular uh, digital video camera or a, like a DSLR, like what we're shooting on now. So brings the, the past into the future, sort of, <laughs> except you have this ugly contraption here. I mean, I obviously kind of half-ass the, the, the wire tying and all that, but yeah, it's a, it's a really easy system and it's generally, it's not really in the way. So, and it's, it doesn't really add that much weight to it, especially the way that I did it with this camera, having it all on the bottom, it just kind of makes it, kind of gives it some, some legs or some feet on the bottom of it. So that is my way on making a analog video camera tapeless. Um, if you have any questions on any of this, don't hesitate to ask. And I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. Yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.